Hello everyone, really interesting algebra problem today with square root, we have square root of x plus square root of minus x equal to 2. And it's looked like traditionally, a traditional equation because we have x's, we have square root, it's not yet a huge number right here, but if you look closely we have this minus right here and it's not good for us because square root and minus this is not a good uh, in a pair so how can you solve it i want to show you a really good inequality method at first and secondly we find all roots in this equation so stay with me i hope it will be really interesting so let's look at this x right here so we all know that x need to be positive or equal to zero so this is our inequality from this part but right here we have minus x, so this minus x inside the square root sign need to be positive as well. So we have system of equation. If you multiply the second system of equation by minus 1, what we will have? This first one will be the same, x is equal to, is greater or equal to 0. And the second one, if you multiply, we need to change this inequality sign in another way, equal is less than or equal to 0. So we have this system, and we need to find all the root that is good to this system. So I write this line right here, and I write this 0. First inequality, x is greater or equal to 0, so it goes to plus infinity, this is our first, first inequality. And the second inequality, s is, x is less than or equal to 0, so it goes to minus infinity, or this is our second inequality. So. What we're going to do next, take a look right here. One common point of intersection of these inequalities is zero. So one and only way that this inequality have a common root right here is zero. So x is equal to zero. But of course we need to check it because this is about inequalities and we need to check our equation. So square root of zero plus square root of minus zero equal to two. We have zero plus zero equal to two. Of course, if this is incorrect. So as you can see right here, we don't have any real solution, so no real real roots no real roots right here but let's find these roots of course right here we'll have root but not in real number in complex number so let's do this let's try the second method what we'll have we have square root of x equal to 2 minus square root of minus x so i just bring this square root of minus x on the right hand side i just bring this on the right hand side and the next step let's raise to the second power square root of x to the second power equal to 2 minus minus square root of x raised to the second power to square. If we rate this x equal to, right here this is a formula, a minus b square, so 4 minus 4 times square root of minus x equal to, yeah, minus minus x. Of course what we're going to do next, this x and this x we can add it, we will have 2x minus 4 equal to minus 4 times square root of minus x. What are we going to do next? Of course, if we rate, we need to rate this once more to the second power because we have square right here. If we rate this, of course, we can cancel this, this, and this. So right here we have 1, 2, and 2. So as a result, if we rate this, we need to raise x minus 2 on the left-hand side to the second power. And on the right-hand side, we have minus 2 square root of minus x, which we rate to the second power as well. Right, let's rate this. We will have x square minus 2x plus 4 equal to minus 4x. And what we're going to do next? Order here, of course, 4. We can easily cancel it. And as a result, what we will have? x square plus 4 equal to 0. And how could we solve it? Of course, bring this 4 on the right hand side, and we will have x square equal to minus 4 which signals are that right here we have no real roots. As you can see in this method and in this method, both methods show us that we have no real roots. But what about complex roots right here? x square equal to minus 4, then we have two complex roots. First one, x1 equal to minus 2i, and the second one, x second equal to 2i. This is two roots in this problem. So no real roots in this case using inequality method, no roots in this case using traditional method of solving this equation. And right here we have two complex roots. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. It will be really nice to read it. And of course, put a thumbs up. I really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me. It supports me a lot. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.